back in 27, I said 27, <laughs> I'm so used to saying 20 now, back in 2007, when I was in the seventh grade, you know, me and my sister would watch anime. We still watch anime, but we'd watch it all at the same time because we didn't have any handheld devices or laptops. There was only one computer in the room. It was the living room. So we all had to sit there, get our chairs or sit in our laps and just watch the computer and the anime. And the first, in the beginning, anime was only could be watched on YouTube in three parts. And that was it. Until during his time, before Country Roll, the pirate site, not the one now. Other sites are showing up. Pimp Anime, Anime Ultima, Appy 401, um, just dubs. That's right, it was a site that only did dubs and dubs only. But the site that we watched was even older than that. It was called One Piece of Bleach. And I'm correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's still up. It was the most un- it was everything was in alphabetical order, but you couldn't click on A or B or A through Z to, to keep up with the things. No, you had to scroll down. You had to scroll all the way down because you get the anime that you wanted to watch. And we had to click on random things where we discovered tons of anime by doing that. Cerez, um, Bafuji Yugi, um, Alice Nineteenth, Initial D, um, Pre Tier. Oh, that's how we discovered so many animes back in the day by just. Clicking on random stuff and giving it a go. We give it a three episode rule, and that is it. And one of these things, the first one we clicked on was Shigo Chara. Shigo Chara was a match of girl anime. Where it had the, it wasn't the ones you see now where it's all about, you know, um, a deep story and major plot and psychological damage to the mind and all that stuff. No, it was the enemy of the week kind of thing, and the girls having their own little struggle, but nothing major like that. And, and I'm trying to do everything based off of memory and memory alone. I didn't read no synopsis or anything like that. I want to do this up front. I believe the girl's name was Ayamu. And I believe she was the very first gal in anime. I believe she was. Because we know the girls, they, they'll wear the stock, the leggings, and they'll have the hair, and they have to decorate uniform and stuff, the gals. She did this look first, I believe. She, and she rocked the pink, man. It was pink and black. You know, it wasn't pink and white or anything like that. Or pink and blue. No, it was pink and black. She had that punk rock look on her. And at school, she had that reputation. Where everyone saw her as a badass and stuff like that. Who didn't play by the rules. She had everyone bowing down to her. And even her parents were just these very strong, stern people that she even she rebelled against and stuff like that. And her sister, her little baby sister, is a brat. But all this was not true. In reality, this is only the front that people made for her because of her appearance. In honesty, she didn't know who she was or what she was. All she know is that she was just this girl who was wear these nice design clothes and everyone is and she didn't talk much so because of that everyone have this automatic you know view of what she's supposed to be in their eyes which is it's whatever man but anyways even her parents themselves were kind of dorky and loving and this little sister was not a brat she was a little girl who cared for her big sister very much so anyways she wished that she could be more upfront of herself she could find what her true self is. And one day she wakes up, she discovers three eggs in her bed. That's right, three eggs. One red, or was it pink? Yeah, one pink, one blue, and one green. And as she goes through her days, she discovered that these eggs hatched and turned little fairies where she can combine with to become a magical girl. But here's the thing is, is that it's not just magical girls in this anime, it's magical boys. She joins a council of these people at her school, and their job is to stop the X eggs. The X eggs are like the eggs they have, but instead of unionizing with the person consensually, they do it when someone's a full negative emotion, and they transform into the enemy of the week. You know that Power Ranger magical girl thing back in the day. <laughs> Those are good times. And she joins them, learning to purify the person and the egg so they can go back to normal and stuff. And of course, there's some drama, conflict, and stuff like that. 
her discovering who she is, her trying to connect with her teammates, and even a love interest, a very tall boy from an older grade named Ito, and he's a bad boy, you know, he's the stray cat that goes out at night and just does whatever, really he just sleeps, that's all he really does, but anyways, there's a little love triangle, because she actually likes the head of the council of her team, the prince, however the prince kind of turned her down during a little meeting that happened at the auditorium, so there's a little love triangle going on there, but what I'm trying to say is that this was my ch one of my childhoods back in the day, and it was very good. I read the manga and I watched the anime. The anime is like over 100 episodes, and it was like that back in the day, man. If you had an anime that you do a weekly kind of thing, it will go up to over 100 episodes, you know? That's how it was. It, we don't get anime like that anymore, you know? We, we just don't. But anyways, um... It ended a long time ago and stuff. And I always, it was just in the back of my mind until one day I was streaming through Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, and then boom, they have declared a manga sequel. Like, yo, after all these years, a manga sequel. Like, yo, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, don't you to rewatch this anime and reread this manga? <laughs> Because I will do it. <laughs> I will freaking do it, man. <laughs> Don't underestimate a guy who does nothing on his days off from work. Because he will waste that time any way he wants to. You know what I mean? Sitting down there and watching national girl shows. Yeah, it's not weird. But anyways, I was shocked by this. But yet, it's a welcome shock. Because in the end of the day, it's in Japan that's doing this. And the, way, the reason why I'm relaxing is, think about it. If this was something that I liked that was in America, and it's, they still don't bring it back, most of the times, I'll be like, oh dear God, here we go again. Usually when they bring stuff back here, it sucks. <laughs> Uh, seriously, it sucks. It always sucks every time they bring something back over here. They bring it back with a new look. Um, the characters are different. The plot is different. And it's just god-awful. The art is like a freaking downgrade every single time. They did with Thundercats. They did with she -Ra, You know, Teen Titans. It's just, they just don't know when to stop over here. But over there... They know what they're doing. So it's going to be a manga. So there's no anime or anything like that about it. But if they were, were to, it will be all welcome. Because why not? <laughs> you can always use more anime, people. But there's not much detail about it. It's just something that really just got me like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. You know, a big blast from the past, from my childhood. So I'm hyped for it, man. <laughs> this is going to be very good. I told my sister about it. She couldn't believe it. She's like, wow. That's crazy. But anyways, that's like guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, share, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has a macro on anime. Sign out. Wow, I salute it twice. I'm out of it.